and disease. Help our authorities fight crime. The boys are in the back if you need anything. No way. Long time no see, man. You need something? Hmm, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend? Jace? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. Uh, he's a little busy right now, man, uh, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan. For some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name? What for? I like to know who I'm doing business with. Okay, fine. Richard. Mm-hmm. Just Richard? Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. Exactly. You got a problem with that? No. But you do. Get him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax, I just... Wanna... Listen to me, cop. Next time you want to pretend to buy, pick another fake name. I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him. Amy? There is one question in this world, John, that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Happiness comes from your brain. I could tell you a lot about your happy brain, about dendrites and synapses, but that would be quite boring. What is so that? Instead, imagine a cave, a small, hollow ball. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. Or... Or is this some kind of stupid test?
look good. It's fine. Just ran into a bit of trouble. With the dealer downstairs, you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Come up here. fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Man, Richard, look at you. You're, you're a walking corpse. Did you at least get what you wanted? Yep, here. Don't look at me like that. It's just a password. Will you help me? Fine. But I can tell you right now that it's not going to be quick. I can't do that all online. I have to get a copy of the database first. How long will that take? A day, at least. <sighs> okay. I have some other stuff to do anyway. You know, concerning those dealers. Are you going to report them? You know, I'd be careful if I were you. You know what one of those guys told me? That I'm dead. What? I, that, that's a joke, surely. Or a threat. Didn't sound like it. Some guy called Jay is telling everybody, apparently. Richard, they're junkies. They're high. They hang out all day in Neverland or wherever it is they go these days. Jay, or maybe J-A-Y? Do you know who they meant by that? Maybe a hacker. Something was with his arm. Huh. A hacker. Jay, something with his arm. Augmented, maybe. That rings a bell. Wasn't there a, a narco? Uh, hold on. I'll send you some material from the archives. Maybe you'll find him there. Okay. J. J. Kazowski. Wanted terrorist in hiding. In hiding? Okay, but where? Jack McHale. Augmented arms. Hacker. connected to the Doomsday Club. The Breakpoint Hackers, probably. Good lord. Jack McHale. Okay, so much for Jack. More bots. Wonderful. Jeff Kazowski. Augmented arm. This, this is something. Here, this looks interesting. Jeff Kozowski, researcher in the field of robotics. Augmentation of the right lower arm. Luddite. Breakpoint went under the radar. Connections to Berlin's anarchy scene. Doomsday, that's an anarchist's club. I could try there. Okay, Steve, thanks. I'll call you about the move scan search. You want to go to Doomsday? Are you mad? There's a raid there every other week. I want to know why I am apparently dead. Oh, come on, Richard. That's just junkie talk. You're alive. Concentrate on Tracy and James. And on your health. I don't know, Steve. I don't have a good feeling about it. Why does he think I'm dead? Maybe he knows something about James, too.
anti-technology group Breakpoint is behind the attack. All signals within Sector 36 are disabled. Damn, no reception. things too <laughs> real life yeah sure if you're in it you you name it I got it uh, what do you need man yeah well, yeah yeah some noob I'll disconnect you have reception yeah, of course how do you get it wizard I, I could get it for you but it's not entirely legal I get that how much 900 900 I can live for a month off that much. Hey, there are drones everywhere, man. You want a deal like that? Go to Neverland. I need a companion code. Great. Give me your ID and I'll send it tomorrow. I need it. Now. Okay, forget it. Fine. And here you go. Your wizard.
Richard? Hi, Mina. Wow. Why do I have the honor? Is Tracy there too? No. Something happened? No, no, everything's fine. Huh. I think this is the first time we've ever had a chat. Hey, listen, Mina, I need to meet a couple of people at the club and... You don't have a companion code. I'll send you one. Meet me inside by the entrance. New data from unknown. Where's Tracy? My companion code. Where'd you get that from? All right, in you go. But don't tell me I didn't warn you. Richard Nolan, in Doomsday. Tracy's gonna kill you. You don't have to tell her. Well, she never calls anyway. Mina. No, it's fine. I get it. Family, kids. It hasn't been easy for her recently. Oh, come on. She still calls Jennifer. Is she still working for Bote? Huh. <laughs> you really haven't seen each other in a while. I'm looking for a certain Jeff. Kazowski, I think he's called. Kazowski? Oh, God. What do you want from him? I just need to get to know him. Uh-huh. Well, if you need to, ask Louisa. Behind the bar. She's into guys like him. Richard, wait a second. What? Does Tracy still do... You know. No, I don't, you know. <sighs> don't look at me like that. I need to escape sometimes, you know. I really can't help you out there, Mina. Then at least give me a couple of credits. I'm completely broke. How is that possible? Thanks. You're the best. Hey, you come here often now, huh? Taking a break from family life? Must feel good. Charmer, Richard. How are you? Stressed. Got three shows next week. I'm going crazy. Really? For a big designer? Yep. Front and center. Not bad. Tracy's probably jealous, right? Get lost. Ten years ago. Malcolm. Maybe 
Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. A certain Jeff. Jeff? Everybody knows... There's no Jeff here. I've heard he comes here often. Yeah? What's your name? Richard Nolan. <laughs> You're real funny. Maybe we should have a drink. Oh, sure. I've never heard that one before. The narc wants to buy me a drink. What do you think of that? I got another suggestion. You finish your drink and disappear. Hey. What's with Jeff? Why are you meeting up with Okay, that? Richard Nolan. I'll tell you something. In this place, you better not ask dumb questions. Either you know people, or you don't. You got it? I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. If it was important, you'd know Jeff. Huh. Here you are again. He doesn't get it, does he? Listen, I'd like to help you, but... There's no Jeff here. <laughs> Another vodka? Not now, thanks. Okay, let me know. He's an idiot. Malcolm. That won't work. Louisa? What you got planned? I just want to talk to her. Sure. If you say so. I'll send it to you. For a few credits, okay? Service fees and all. I've just transferred you some. You're a darling. I'll send you Louisa's data. Wow. 30 credits? Seriously? I'm not your dealer, Mina. Oh, God. Not your dealer, Mina. No wonder you can only get girls when they're high. Not here. I'm not alone. Not here. Quite persistent, aren't you? Listen, I'm not a narc. I have to talk to Jeff. What's so important? I have to tell him that myself. Hmm, not how it works, darling. I need more than that. Okay, fine. He's been telling people I'm dead. Dead? Yes, dead. Obviously, I'd like to talk to him about not how it works. What the? I need more. I need more. Hey, who are you? Not important. Go to the control room for the light show. Second floor. What? I'll be in touch. We have to get the search drones off our tail, then we can talk. Nobody back home is gonna believe this. Come up to the lounge. Carl will let you in. You're looking for your family, right? How do you know? A little birdie told me. I have to speak to Jeff Kozowski. Many do. Richard Nolan? That's me. And you're Jeff, right? the hell, man? You're dead. Yeah, I heard that too. H how did you survive? How did you get out of the building? There were bots and drones everywhere. I think I'd like my questions answered first. I can't believe it. 
It probably happened just when the upload was happening. That's a serious override. Your mind shouldn't be here. At the very least, you should be in a coma. What are you talking about? I want to know what's going on, now. I have to talk to a couple of people first. Tell me now. Hey, hey, no need to get loud, okay? Richard, according to our sources, you were in one of Kurt's labs about a week ago. Were you doing research there? Were you there of your own free will? I wasn't in a Kurt's lab. I had an accident. Okay, you, you don't know anything. We thought it might have been something to do with your work. We didn't find out until after the attack that you were there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Richard, you saw the news. The attack on Kurt's labs. It hit the building that you were in. I promise we had no idea, otherwise we would've- I wasn't in a lab. I was in a cab. You were in the lab. We didn't find out until after the evaluation. We could trace you. You carried out the attack? And why was I there? Tracy and James, were they? Okay, Richard, listen. Kurt's labs have been working on a project. We recently found out about it. They have been transferring enormous amounts of data to an unknown server for weeks. We think they have found a way to upload brains. Upload brains? As in mind uploads? Exactly. They're uploading people, probably against their will. Mind uploads? Exactly. And we believe they have uploaded you. Me? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm here. You are. That's the amazing part. But some of your data is somewhere else. Somewhere else? Where? We don't know, exactly. It has to be some sort of digital construct. We tried to infiltrate it. We made a data link to upload a guy called Charlie, but the connection with him was severed. So then we tried to make contact with you. But I am here! Yes and no. There is some kind of copy of you. It's probably been modified. A copy? You mean a second Richard? A second person. We don't know how different he is to you, and what is missing from him. In a moment, we'll try to upload data to him from your biography to stabilize the connection. Most of your data has been deleted, though, so we have to make do with second and third grade material. Relatives, acquaintances, everyone you ever came into contact with. How much data do you have? A, a lot, Richard. But still just a fraction of what Kurt's Labs has gathered. <sighs> You need a moment, right? I was in a cab. It crashed. I went to the hospital. No, Richard. They tried to upload you. Uh, and my family? They've disappeared, both of them. Did you have problems? That's putting it mildly. Maybe they left you. Maybe you left them. How did you get in the lab? Was it your decision? Did you agree to the upload? I, I don't remember. Maybe your alter ego knows more. He's a part of you. Contact him. He goes by the name of Adam Newman. You want me to... We have access to your database. It's completely encrypted. You can't read any of it. But he probably can. Why? Because he is in a virtual world. That one is me? No. That one's a virtual construct. Based on your memories, he probably can't even remember your life. You'll have to change that. What for? So he'll believe us. So he'll help us find Charlie. And your family. You'll get your life back together, and we'll know what Kurtz is getting up to. Who's we? Breakpoint? Uh, I have to reconstruct my memory? Both of your memories. Okay, I guess that's enough for now, right? Go now. Be careful. How... how can I contact you? You can't. I'll contact you. Phil will give you a couple of toys. You'll need them. We'll stay in touch, Richard. Count on it. And... how was it with Jeff? Revealing. He said you had something for me. Ah, yeah. Just some standard equipment. First things first, a hacked ID. If you get caught with this thing, you're in trouble. Got it? Got it. Good. 
I'll also set up a cloud call encryption for you. And we're done. For now. You're off the data radar. Any questions? Nah. Well then. Welcome to the other side of the law. Go to the terminal, and I'll show you a couple of our tricks. I'll show you how to take control of a search drone. Go. You're in. Look at everything. Get a feel for the system. Get to know the controls first. Good. We're searching for a Jack. Jack someone. He works for a virtual reality company. See if you can find him. He's bald and has a beard. If the pictures we have are still accurate. Don't worry, my friend. You know the old phrase. The more you know, the less you know. Cops. This is a police control. You are under arrest. 